Hi everybody, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. And this week we're gonna talk about mental toughness and maybe some tools and tricks that'll help you overcome those not so great moments. Mental toughness, man, this is such a tough thing to create, know where to start and then actually implement it. One thing that's worked for me is just simply reading. I'm, I read a lot and through reading, I'm gaining so much knowledge and helping me create a plan to be mentally tough around those lanes. The number one thing with mental toughness for me reading these books is it helped me kind of create at least a plan, a plan of how I wanted to implement my, my mental toughness game. And then once I got on the lanes, it was then finding the strategic pieces and when to put them into place, which really helped me be mentally tougher, to be able to manage those tough shots and those bad breaks and those frustrating moments, to be able to move past them quickly. Now I know not everybody has a ton of time to read, so I'm hoping that I can just kind of throw a few things out to you that have really helped me. Through journal or through reading, I've learned that journaling is super effective as long as I can contain my thoughts and be nice to myself. Um, the other things that have really helped is positive self-talk. Uh, mental imagery, taking a deep breath. I've gotten so good at taking a deep breath and staying in the moment and focusing on the things that I can control that now when I take a deep breath, it just calms me down and pulls me right back to the present, allowing me to move past the bad moments, the frustrating moments, and focus on the most important thing at hand, and that's this current shot. So many people out there say that bowling, once we get to that competitive higher level, is really 80% mental but yet we spend 90% of our time, 100% of our time working on the physical side of things. So you really have to ask yourself, how much time am I willing to put towards my mental game? Now I know not everybody is a reader and the good news is most of these books come in audio form. So at least download something, grab something from Barnes and Noble and open it up and hopefully we'll get you on your journey to mental greatness. I really hope this tip helps. Good luck out there and we'll see you next week. Thank you.